Today on LearnCSP.com, we're going to teach you how to fake Heather Gray. It's not just a color, it's also a bit of a pattern. You've seen it before in lots of places, American Apparel t-shirts most popularly, but also, but not limited to, maxi skirts and leggings and sweatpants and shorts and beanies and hoodies, the whole nine yards. It's a slightly tricky thing to do, but we're going to show you how to do it right here. First, pick a shade of gray. I pick around 50% or so of the, the gray that I want. I fill in the area. Shift click, hold down both areas, then grab it with the magic wand because you want to set the area that you're going to do this with. Once you have that selected, go to filter, go to draw, and then Perlin noise. Now it gives you a whole bunch of settings here. I adjusted the settings around a little bit so that it looked less blocky. I wanted it to, um, to really look smaller and narrower for the next step we're going to get to make it all look right. But play with these settings, see what works best for you. It's the only real way to do this. After that, go to Filter, and then go to Blur, and Movable Blur. This is where you really get that Heather Gray effect. I changed the direction to Blur here the most, because I wanted to sort of match the angle of her leg that's kicking forward, but you can also change the area to Blur to be whatever you want it to be. That'll work, and then when you're done, you see the final results, you have a Heather Gray look on her pants right there. And that's how you can fake Heather Gray with Clip Studio Paint. Thanks for watching, everybody.